we're 8,000 miles from my district. Uh, and uh, so just that question, are they required? Delegate Sablon pressing VA officials in a recent hearing at the nation's capital on how the PACT Act, a bipartisan bill expanding health care for veterans exposed to toxins during service, impacts veterans in the Marianas. Sablon wants to know if the NMI's only VA-contracted doctor is required to refer patients off-island for more adequate care. The short answer, yes. We do try to fill uh, gaps in care capacity in any way we can, and one of those ways is contracted uh, physicians and providers. We are trying as much as possible to hire more physicians in our roles at VA because we feel that those physicians are best equipped to meet veteran needs. But he says that a statutory cap on salaries makes it difficult to compete in the market, especially with specialty physicians. In September, the VA was on Guam and Saipan to register those who served and may have been exposed to Agent Orange and other airborne hazards during the war. The VA says there are an estimated 3,600 veterans in the region. Sablan took issue with the VA describing the territories as separate from the country. Territories are in the country. We are, they're not outside of the definition of country. We are a part of the United States of America. So we're not a, the country and the territories. We are the country. Sablon says he continues to work on establishing a community-based outpatient clinic, or CBOC, in the northern Marianas. The final question is, what happens if veterans were to comrades, those who may have difficulties? And I, I believe that they, sh they have a right to think that, and I believe the act, uh, the PAC Act does address those uh, issues. Tomas Manglonia for KUAM News on Saipan. What happens if veterans were to comrades,